Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to get Office 365 for free. So let's get started. There are several ways of getting Microsoft Office 365 for free. Some of the most effective ones are try Office 365 for free, use Office 365 mobile apps for free, get Office 365 education version for free, and try the evaluation version. You can get the trial edition of Microsoft Office uh, 365 if you just need it for a short time. For example, if you have college submissions uh, due in a few weeks, you should sign up for a free trial of Microsoft Office at the Microsoft account. We will see it practically a bit later. Another way of getting the Office 365 is to use Office 365 mobile apps for free. For smartphones and tablets, Microsoft offers a free version of Office. You can edit Microsoft Office documents for free if your device screen is smaller than 10.1 inches. This includes Android tablets with a screen size of 10 inches and iPads with a screen size of 9.7 inches, but not the 10.2 inch 7th generation iPad. But you need an Office 365 subscription or read-only mode if your device is larger than 10.1 inches. Guys, another way of getting the Office 365 for free is to get the Office 365 education version. You can access the whole Office Microsoft Office 365 suite for free if you are a student, teacher or even an alumni. The problem is that you will require an education license for your school or your educational facility. That means your institution needs to have the subscription of the Office 365. You can ask your professor or lecturer or the IT department or your student service department. If your institution have that license, you can simply uh, log in with your student ID and the password. Another way to get the Office 365 for free for a month is to try the evaluation version. For Microsoft's commercial and enterprise customers, there is a separate trial that provides the same Office 365 experience. You may also acquire the 30-day Office 365 trial by going to the Microsoft Evaluation Center and signing up for their 30-day Pro Plus plan. Whichever of ways best suits for you, you can proceed with that. In this video, we are going to try Microsoft Office 365 for a month so that we can at least learn or practice how to use their applications for a month and buy the Microsoft Office 365 if we want to use uh, longer than that. So let's move on and learn how to create a free Office 365 account first and then we will set up the offline version of the Office 365 in our PC. On a browser and on a search engine, search for Try Office 365 free. Click on the free trial Try Microsoft 365 for a month. Here click on the Try one month free button. Now you will have to sign in to the Microsoft 365 account if you already have a Microsoft account, otherwise you will need to create one. Please don't confuse Office 365 with Microsoft 365. They are the same now. Previously it was Office 365, but now Microsoft named the Office 365 with Microsoft 365 by adding some more features and apps on the service or on the suite. To check if an email address of mine is Microsoft account, I enter it on the text box as shown on the screen and click on the next button. As you can see, it's not a Microsoft account. So if we click on the create one, it proceeds with creating or signing up to the Microsoft account. Click on the next button, then enter a password that you would like to use with your account and click on the next button. Enter your first name and then enter your last name. Then click on the next button. You will receive a confirmation code on your email. Check your recent email from Microsoft on your inbox, note the code and enter the code here. Then click on the next button. Again click on the next button here. Solve the puzzle by clicking on the image that represents the text. I don't know what the koala means, so I search for its image 
and then solve the puzzle. I want to stay signed in to the Microsoft account through my browser. So I click on the S button. Now you are almost ready to start using Microsoft 365. And here we can see that your first month is free, but we still need you to provide payment information to continue your subscription once the trial month ends. That means you need to enter the payment information now even to try the Microsoft 365 for free for one month. So uh, for now you can enter your payment information and later cancel the subscription before the trial period ends. If you do not cancel, you will be charged $99 plus applicable taxes every year. Here on the left bar, you can see what you get with the free month subscription and the paid subscription that starts after the free trial with $99.99 per year. Next, check your country and pick a payment method. In my case, I am going to pick the payment method as PayPal. Then I sign into the PayPal account and authorize the website to use PayPal balance after the subscription is ended. For now, don't worry. No balance will be used from your PayPal account or your credit card and you can cancel the subscription on any D. So let's click on the next button. Here you will need to uh, fill the billing address. Fill it as per your PayPal account or your credit card or MasterCard account details and click on the next button. Then you will be asked to verify your address. Check the address and click on use this address button. Finally, click on the subscribe button. Now we are all set to start the free trial of Microsoft 365. So click on the continue button. Here scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page and click on the Microsoft account dashboard. This is the Microsoft 365 dashboard where you can get everything within the package or within the suite of Microsoft 365. If you want to install the offline version of the Microsoft Office 365, uh, you can click on the install office button here. You can even install the Microsoft Office 365 alongside uh, the Microsoft Office package that is already installed on your PC or laptop. We will see it as well but a bit later on the video. To get online version of the Microsoft 365 or the Microsoft 365, click on the rectangular dotted grid icon on the top left corner of, of the Microsoft 365 dashboard. Then you can select the application that you want to work on. Let's click on the Excel to open a new Excel sheet in a new tab. As on the offline version of the MS Excel, Click on the new blank workbook to create a new Excel file. With even the online version of the Microsoft 365, you get the most features that you get while using the offline version of the MS Office package. Next, let's see how to install an offline version of the Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft 365 in our PC or laptop and synchronize the documents with the online, which are generally stored on the own drive or the cloud drive of the Microsoft. Log in to the office.com if you are not already logged in or you haven't set to remember the login credentials. Click on the install office button here. Again, click on the install office button. Choose a language. By default, English is selected, which is okay for now. And choose the office version as office-64. The installer will be downloaded. Save the installer on a location and wait for some time until the installer is downloaded on your computer. If you are using the Chrome, you can check the download status by going to the URL as shown here on the URL bar of the Google Chrome. After the Office 365 installer is downloaded, click on it to launch it. 
wait for some times until the installer is getting ready to begin the installation. After some time, if you check here on the lower right corner of the taskbar, you can see the office icon. Clicking on it shows you the current status of the installation process. It takes some time depending upon your internet speed. After some time, the installer is launched and we can see the installation progress. It may take a lot of time. So I pause the video here and we'll be back after the installation is complete. Okay, now the installation of Office 365 is complete. To launch it, click on the start menu. You will see the Office applications are listed under the recently added section. Click on any of the programs such as the Word. If you already have the Microsoft Office package uh, 2007, or 2010 or 2011 or 2013 or 2016 or any other installed uh, version of the office package on your computer and you want to install the offline version of office 365 alongside the microsoft package you need to wait for a while until it completes its setup process this setup process is of office 365 now to activate the offline version of the office 365 enter the email address that you used to sign up to the Microsoft account earlier. Then click on the next button. Again, wait for a moment. Enter the password and click on the sign in button. Choose whether you want to uh, use this account everywhere on your device or for Microsoft apps only. I want to use the account for Microsoft apps only. So I click on it. Again, wait for a moment. Accept the license agreement and click on the next button. Now we may not want to get optional data from uh, Microsoft 365. So we may prefer to click on the don't send optional data. Finally, click on the done button to complete the installation process. Now we should see the uh, profile icon here uh, on the top uh, of the window and the account name. This proves that you are using the Office 365 in your computer. Okay, we are all set now. Last but not the least, let's create a sample document. Turn the auto save on, which saves your document automatically to your local OneDrive and then to your Microsoft Cloud Drive. Give a name to the document and click on the OK button. The document is now synchronized to the Microsoft Cloud or the own drive. Let's verify it by going to the Office 365 dashboard and clicking to the one drive. Here opening the documents folder, you will see the document. You can just double click on it to open on an online version of Office in a new tab. This is how you can work with both online and offline versions of the Microsoft Office 365 side by side or you can uh, work on the offline version of the Office 365 and later synchronize the data or file to the Office 365 cloud or the own drive. Let me give you one more tip before wrapping up the video. That is, uh, you can set up the OneDrive locally and configure to synchronize your data from offline to the online version of 365 automatically. For this, search for OneDrive and uh, if you see it selected, hit enter. Type the email address that you used while creating the Microsoft account and click on the sign in button. Then enter the password that you used while signing up to the Microsoft and click on the sign in button. Here we can see the OneDrive folder locations. You can change the default selected location to a different location however. Or you can just leave it as it is and continue by clicking on the next button. Then click on a couple of next next buttons. Now click on later button and click on the open my own drive folder button. It opens your own drive folder. Everything you create online using the Microsoft 365 will be saved here. Let's open the documents folder. Let's open the documents folder to verify that the test document that we created using the online version exists there. Double click on it to open it on the offline version of the Office 365. Let's add, let's also add a line of text here and check in the online version.
Yes, we can see it there. The data and the files are automatically synchronized between the offline and online version of the Office 365. Okay guys, this is how we can get Office 365 for free to try for a month. That's all for this video. We will come up with so many uh, useful videos of Microsoft 365 in the days to come. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, goodbye.